Hello everyone, Bon Yuki here with another video. Once again, I have Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter playing. And the reason why I have it playing is because I am showcasing the OSSC in line 5X mode on a new television that I just picked up. Uh, what would you pay for a 55 inch screen that does obviously 4K, has full array backlighting with 72 local dimming zones, has HDR capability, as well as Dolby Vision. Also, with the measured input delay of 14 millisecond in SDR, and once again, 14 millisecond in HDR. Being able to do 444 at 4K60, how much would you pay? Well, yesterday I was able to go to Best Buy, my local store around here, and picked it up for a nice low price of $5.99. Yep, this is the TCL SP605. And this has been garnering a lot of attention uh, for the high-end gaming folks out there, the PC guy, the PS4 Pro guy, and people are saying how amazing this television is. There's very little input delay. There's no motion blur at all, and I can attest to that. But no one's really taking a look at it. We'll see how it does with the OSSC. Well, I'm here to tell you it does it flawlessly. OSSC is in line 5X mode, and it looks great. Um, people are going to ask, well, how does this compare to that OLED TV you have downstairs? Look, this is a great television. It's only $600. The OLED's going to be a superior image. But not everyone has $3,000 to just throw around. I have to, you know, we all, we all work, and we have to realize that some things are not in our budget. This is a TV for the upstairs for me, but I can see where someone can put this as their primary screen and be very happy with it. It has all those features as I mentioned before, and it looks great not just for games, for movies as well. I was able to try out uh, a 4K Blu-ray last night, and I was very, very impressed um, how good the image was. This destroys the Vizio TVs that I've had in the past, but then again, this is 2017. Vizio was the King of the crowd, King of the Castle from 14, 15, uh, midway through 16, and now 2017 TCL company. Um, I've heard of before, but I never really dealt with any of their products. They always have those built-in Roku's, and I must say the built-in Roku on this television is quite nice. I could actually use my cell phone as a remote, kind of like how the Vizio and the M series of 2016 came in with a tablet. You could do the same thing with the remote on here with the Roku built built in to this TCL. So overall, this TV is great. Uh, motion blur is barely there. I mean, you could take a look at it right now. I mean, you, YouTube compression is probably going to do some damage, but uh, the scan lines are there. It looks clean. It looks crisp. Not a big cabin tree behind it. I'm impressed. I'm really impressed with this television. I don't think you're going to find a better bang for the buck TV out there. I just don't see it. Um... This TV can outperform TVs that are about two, three hundred dollars more easily. Uh, I would say this is better than Vizio M Series 2017 by by far. So for those who are looking for a new screen, I highly recommend this one. It'll take care of your gaming needs, whether it's retro gaming or whether it's future proofing for PlayStation 4 Pro or Xbox One X or even PC. Uh, take care of your movies. It's got Dolby Vision and HDR10. Wonderful. And it won't hit you in the wallet hard. So if you guys got any questions or comments, just ask me. I'll let you know what my setup was. It was pretty simple. It, Like I said, it does have very low input delay. So this is excellent for gaming. And it has all those wonderful features that the uh, high-end televisions you know, are touting now. So questions or comments, just ask me below. And I'll try to help you out. I'm going to go back and play in some games. Thank you.